morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning, sir. I'm Dexter Panuncio, your teacher for today's lesson. Before we start, we're going to pray first. Justin, please lead the prayer. Classmates, please stand up and bow our heads. We're going to pray. Our Father in heaven, holy be thy name, the kingdom come, they will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sins against us. That bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil things. Okay, next, we're going to sing a song. Serene, please lead. Yes, please stand up. Water me on, water me on, papaya, papaya. Before we start our discussion, let's recall our last lesson. Last meeting, we learned about matter and its classification. So a sort of review, what is matter? Sir, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. How about the three classification of matter? Sir? Please study. The three classification of matter are the solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, now, what is the difference between solid and liquid? Sir? Yes, sir. The difference between solid and liquid is that solid has a definite shape and vo volume, while liquid has a definite volume and assumes that shape of a container. Very good. Okay, class, our topic for today is changes of matter. Okay, we're going to discuss the two changes of matter, the physical and the chemical changes. Class, do you have any idea what physical change is? Sir? Please stand. Physical change is a change in the form of matter but not in its identity. Very good. How about chemical change? Sir? Please stand. Chemical change is a change in which one kind of matter is changed into a different type of matter. Very good. Okay, I have now the definition of physical change. Justin, listen, stand up and read. Physical change are changes affecting the form of a chemical substance but not its chemical composition. Physical changes are used to separate mixtures into their component compounds but cannot usually be used to separate compounds into chemical elements or simpler compounds. And for sure, physical change ay uh, nababago ang kanyang labas na kanyuan. For example, boiling, melting, freezing, and shredding. And for the chemical, Iris, please read the definition. Chemical change occur when a substance combined with another to form a new substance called chemical synthesis or alternatively chemical decomposition into two or more different substances. These processes are called chemical reaction and in general are not reversible except by the further chemical reaction. And for the chemical change, ang nagbabago lamang ay ang kanyang molecule. And for the example, burning, soaking, rusting, and rotting. Okay class, I have two example, melting ice and dissolved sugar in water. Okay, what changes are taking place in these two examples? Sir, this time? it's a physical change. Okay, how can you say that these two examples undergo physical change? The two examples undergo physical change due to that it remains the same and there is no new product that is being formed. I have another two examples, a resting nail and a spoiling food. What changes do these two examples undergo? Sir, the two examples undergo a chemical change. Why these two examples undergo chemical change? These two examples undergo a chemical change because 
There is a change in their chemical properties. Based on what you've learned, how can tell the difference between physical and chemical change? Sure. The difference between, between physical and chemical change, physical change changes its uh, physical appearance while chemical change changes molecules. Okay, who can give an example for the physical and chemical changes? Sir, this is fun. For physical change, shredding or cutting of paper, then chemical change, burning wood. Very good. For the evaluation, get one whole sheet of paper and answer this question. I give you 15 minutes to finish this. Class, are you done? Yes, sir. Okay, please pass your paper. Okay, class, this is your assignment. Search about what is density. I will get your answer for our next meeting. I hope you understand our lesson. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.